one of the greatest of all time, whose appearance at Glory Collision 2 in Arnhem set European attendance records. Here comes Bada Hari. knockout artist that we know him as and again in that last fight he was dominating he was ripping the body he was one punch away but then you go one shot it took so i know Botter needs to stay patient he needs to stay calculated and really wait for that opportunity but Botter really needs to finish here what an environment for this heavyweight rematch Arik Baroshek, 29 years old, 6 foot 7, 236, with an 81 inch reach. That's the same as Badr Hari, who's an inch shorter, and he is 37 years old. Looking at professional experience, you can't help but only talk about Badr Hari here. 122 fights, 87% KO ratio, but nothing else matters except that one kick from Vershosik last time, and that is what makes this fight that interesting. And my keys to glory for this fight, for Vershosik, we know he needs to stay tight defensively, especially in the early parts of this fight. Look for that counter attacking, especially the head kick with level changes, mix in his low kick. Badr Hari, stay patient, that's the key. Smart pressure, look for explosive power, and just like the first fight, he's got to level change and attack the body. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, this bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds in Glory's heavyweight division. Introducing first, standing on my left and fighting out of the white corner. This Polish national champion is a European Muay Thai champion coming off the knockout of the year. His professional record, 14 wins with five losses, nine of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands six feet, seven inches tall, 2.01 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at 236 pounds, 107.2 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Warsaw, Poland, ladies and gentlemen, Argadusz, the one world Grand Prix finalist and two-time heavyweight champion of the world. His professional record, 106 wins, 16 losses, and 92 big wins by knockout. He stands six feet, six inches tall, 1.98 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at 251 pounds and even 114 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Morocco. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the baddest, Bada Hari! And the referee in charge of this contest is Edward Stryker. You know the rules, yeah? Protect yourselves at all times, yeah? Listen to my command. That's what I'm supposed to watch. 
They don't touch gloves. And I got to tell you this, Barosic does not look intimidated tonight. He told us he was nervous and a bit scared in their first encounter. I think he's got his boys here in the crowd, so he feels like he's got a little bit more support this time. Judge. He's felt Botter's power. Judge! Judge! And here we go, scheduled for three rooms. A big body kick out of the gate for the Polish high town. Definitely a lot more confidence now from Vershosik. But look at this calculated approach from Botter. He's got to stay patient. Ooh. That'll be a slip. This crowd is going berserko, I tell you that. Good start for Vershosik, though. Oh, he's hitting some big, throwing some big power. Body shots there from Botter. I wonder if Botter thought that Groshek would come out this aggressive. Groshek does need to be careful, though. Botter's got some good counter punches. Left body kick for Groshek has been his go-to so far. Yeah, and that's what he does. He's going to mix it up to the head eventually. He's going to level change with it. It's what he did in the first fight. You can tell, though, the Polish high tower was so much confidence compared to their first contest. But you can already see that little bit of nervous, I wouldn't call it nervous, but anxious energy from Fashosik. You know, Bader's been in so many of these big fights that he's staying calm. That's experience. That's what 122 professional fights. Botter's still calm and collected. Body kick again from Botter, answered back from Groshek. And see, Groshek's left kick to the bottom. I'm telling you, it's going to go upstairs. Botter's got to keep that right hand of his pinned high. Their success in the first fight was with body shots. And Broshik capture lightning in a bottle twice, or will Badahari's thunder roll right over this guy? Oh, Bader really known for that strong jab of his. fight it's one second you can see the redness Ooh. building on the body of Bader Hari who in turn lands a shot to the body of his own you can already see Arik Vashosik a little bit more aware of defending body shots Bader still keeps his chin high in exchanges so maybe some counter punches from from Arik could do well Ooh, there's Botter's oh, power. Just missing with the right hand, and Botter gave him a wink. Lot of big power there from Botter at the end. We know how nasty he gets when he commits to everything. Just throwing everything with bad intentions there at the end. But Vershosik, man, one of his better rounds we've seen him. Last fight he looked defensive the entire first round, kind of surviving. All five judges scored that one for the Moroccans. Yeah, that's uh, definitely a close round. Bit surprised that yeah. Roshan didn't at least get one judge yeah. on his side. I thought it would have been split. But already bought her a little bit more urgency, it seems. Kind of getting in there, showing some fainting. Setting up the big power shots. We got a cut over the right eye, it seems, of Roshan, who has a oh. good right hand. Yeah, Vroshik's got very good low kicks, too, so maybe continually chopping away on Botter's legs is a good strategy. Oh, you 
You see now Vishosa kind of dropping his right hand to defend the body shots. This is where Bader goes left hook upstairs. Total strikes, Bader leading 28-20. Both men targeting each other's bodies. Yeah, that's what sets you know, Vyshovsik's got the good body kick with the left leg. Man, I think I hold my breath the entire time about how he fights. Oh, well, it's shelling up now is Voroshin. Either way, if one of these fighters goes down, the roof's going to come off this place. Look at the body punches from Potter. There's another one. Kick downstairs from Grosha. And this almost looked like their first round in the first fight. Potter pressuring, level changing. Maybe a lot of the excitement of the Polish fans, you know, kind of wasted some of Grosha's energy in that first round. Boy, he just sits there and takes it like Ali versus Foreman. There's not much you can do when Bader explodes. You almost have to cover your head and body and hope for the best sometimes. Look to counter shot off of his big punches. I'll tell you that knee came up for Barosha. Kind of oh, the switch knee puts Bader down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Potter's up. Can you believe he might do it again? Oh! oh. Sick needs to keep his hands up still. But and look at Potter Hari backing Groshik up, and there was the switch knee, Joe. We hadn't seen it, and then we did. Yeah, it was one of those strikes he hadn't thrown, so it really surprised Botter. So the way he kind of Botter whipping those power shots, opening up his chin a little bit. And you can see on the right of your screen, some of Groshik's fans have Begun throwing chairs, come out of the stands, they're trying to restore order to even get Bader Hari's attention. There's so much going on in this arena. He's finished now. Nick Kimmer's saying Potter's finished now. Yeah. Both gentlemen, man, there's so much going on, but the focus is the key here. The show said not taking his eyes off of Potter right now. Staring across the ring. Tim Hughes telling everyone they've got to return to their seats. This extra time is really helping out Potter. Yeah, but you see Vashosik staying focused, staring it down the other corner. But Potter's had a lot of time to recover here now. This time delay really helping out Potter. Delay is really helping out Bader. Yeah, I mean, Bader looks like he's collected again. You got Coach Saeed giving instruction. He seems responsive. Melvin Manhoff in the corner, kind of hyping him up, trying to keep him focused. Bader looks recovered. He looks collected again.
Nick Hemmers now has his arms open. They got to be pissed off too. They almost had a finish at the end of that second round. We'll find out what Badahari's recuperating powers are like. A lot of drama and intensity here in Belgium. You got to give a lot of credit to Vashosik, the way he's kind of with such a young career against the legend in, in an environment like this to kind of do how well he's doing. Credit Groshek standing stoically in his corner. All his attention is focused on bottom. Well, it's three minutes away. You know, it's a lifetime down to three minutes here. Everyone called his first win a lucky shot, and he's here to prove everyone otherwise. Almost a little bit like Rico Botter won. Question is, are, are the officials going to let this last round go on? Or are they going to step in, possibly stop the fight? I don't know what would be worse for the fans. Yeah, you can't stop the fight. If you think about it, it's not really fair what's going on either. and Levy warming up already thinking they would have fought by now so now they're having to change their warm-up their focus is a little bit off so there's a lot of things happening right now when it comes to the mentality of the fighters themselves if we do get a third round it is going to be three minutes of unbelievable yeah. action I'm telling you as a fighter after 10 minutes of a fight that's when tournaments in the past three four times in a night Jongens, ik weet het. Alsjeblieft. Oké, okay. geef me een klein momentje. Mag je een klein momentje van respect? Een klein momentje van respect. Een klein momentje van respect. Luister, luister. Luister, jongens. Die boys hebben hard getraind. Die boys hebben hard getraind. We willen jullie allemaal verwennen met mooie partijen. Jongens, dit is niet nodig. Ela 
Mark Schaaf, what are they saying in the corner of Bonner Hari? They Ayo, say that they have Ayo, to give them Ayo, respect. Ayo, you know, Alex. these are two fighters who have trained hard. Alex. And everybody wants to see the third round. So guys, please, have respect for each other. And we will see the third round, all right? No more throwing chairs. Just enjoy the fight. This is a beautiful sport. Let's keep it beautiful, guys. Well said, Mark. Maybe that's the voice we needed. Yeah. We get a nice round of applause. Nice neutral voice. Mark Shaw is like Switzerland. He's neutral. <laughs> so here we go. Bader seems to want to fight. Baroshik wants to fight. Unfortunately, some of the fans in the stands want to fight. That's the problem. But due to security reasons, we need to stop the fights. Uh, that's not going to help. Stopping the fight that's is not going to help. Fans jumping everywhere, throwing chairs. We're going to have to abandon our position here. We hope to get this under control in a moment and show you the final fight, our main event. Still here ringside, and as you can tell, things have taken a very poor turn. We're trying to reevaluate the situation and see if the show will indeed go on as our security tries to get things under control. I'll, I'll grab it. 